Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about what to put in the what's new section on the App Store. Okay, so the other day I was talking with somebody about his iPhone application. So he has an app on the App Store and we were having a look at his App Store page just to see if there's any changes we can make. And I was making a few recommendations. So his app was getting found, but people weren't downloading. So he asked me to take a look at it. So we were looking at it and we came up with some changes for the screenshots. I said, you might want to try a different screenshot here, different screenshot here, you know, maybe say something this in the screenshot because that's what people are going to look at and everything. And he asked a really good question. He said, do I have to recompile a new build in order to get the screenshots changed? And I said, yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but you do. The screenshots have to go through the approval process the same way that an app does. And unfortunately, you can't go through and select a previous app build in order to include with it. So you could just change the screenshot or change the keywords or change the name and that kind of stuff. It all goes through the uh, approval process, which is, you know, it is what it is. This is why I say, even if you don't know what the code does, it's good to know how to compile it and know how to release it to the App Store. And he asked a really good question. He said, but what do I put for the, the release notes for the what's new in this app you know, section, right? And I said, dude, just do the same thing I do for every single app. So every time, well, almost every time we release a new application, I always put the same notes in the release notes or in Google Play, what's new in this version. I say, minor enhancements and bug fixes, don't forget to leave a review. That's what I put all the time. I know some developers tend to think that it's it's meant for the reviewers or it's meant for other developers, so they have this laundry list of bug fixes, which might be important if your users have been saying, hey, you need to fix this. It'd be good if they were, when they see there's a new version available, say, hey, we fixed that issue. But most of the time, the users don't care. It's, it's almost like another piece of marketing material. So all the time, I'm always putting don't forget to leave a review because I'm always pleading with people to leave a review. And it's almost like this boilerplate thing that we do. Minor, minor enhancements and bug fixes, don't forget to leave a review. Even if we've only done something like maybe we're changing ad networks or we're doing something else because I want them, I want them to use the new ad networks. And if I say changed ad networks, switch from ad mob to app love and who's going to want to download that? I mean, who's going to want to do the update if they don't have it set to automatic? So. So that's what I always do. And I kind of be interested in how you guys answer that or if you're always listing out everything. Now, if we do it for a client, it's different. If we do it for a client, they're, they're, they go through and they have an issues list and we will release it there so they can go off and tick those things off just to say, this is what's in this release. That's different, but most of the time for our standard users, for stuff on the App Store, most of the time people are coming in and they're not waiting for that new release all the time. So, and you'll see this a lot if you go to the App Store updates page, if you don't have it set to automatically update, you'll see a lot of applications, minor enhancements and bug fixes, minor enhancements and bug fixes. It's just a very generic way to not get into too much detail to say you probably should install this, right? And another thing on Google Play, especially if you want to slip in a few keywords there, couldn't hurt. I don't know if it helps, but you know, it couldn't hurt. You know, it, it's just a little bit more keywords on your page and you, know, you might as well, right? So anyway, let me know what you guys do when you do the, uh, the release notes and the what's new. Are you very methodical? Do you list out everything that you fix in this release? Because you should have that list somewhere, right? You should have it. For me, it's usually in Git. It's in Git or if we have a release note document, it's like an actual document, which is internal, then we'll have it there. If we release it to clients, if it's a client application, we usually will list those just so they can see that we've made those changes. But most of the time for the users, for the stuff that's for the app store, for our business, our B2C applications, we just say minor enhancements and bug fixes. Don't forget to leave a review. We're always asking for a review, so we might as well ask it there too. So what do you guys do? I'd be really interested to know. And that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.